Hi guys. It is an absolutely nasty, yuck, fucking, just yuck, depressing winter day. Here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, where the north wind is blowing in. Can't believe there's still any leaves left on these trees out here. Uh, here on Wednesday, December 27th, 2017, where winter is alive and well. No global warming here today. Wish to hell there was. Uh, but Wednesday, December 27th, 2017, it's time for me to bring you my very last climate change meltdown roundup rant on this appropriately ice cold winter day. Before I do that, got a couple of rantlets, and this is the quote of the day, the quote of the day, uh, coming interestingly enough from, uh, well I found it on, on Yahoo News, who was running this article from um, some obscure little paper in Savannah, Georgia, called Savannah Now, and what's good for Savannah, Georgia is good for the rest of this planet, and this is... Uh, an essay by a fellow named Mark Murphy titled appropriately enough the sixth extinction how will we address the plague of man the plague of man Mark Murphy MD is a Savannah physician and writer and this is what Mark Murphy getting to the very bottom of his essay, what is Mark's reading of the situation of the end times in uh, Savannah, Georgia, and the rest of the planet. Take it away, Mark. Quote, We live in an age where political hacks denigrate scientific research as fake news while citing tabloid innuendo as fact. And where government regulations inform CDC officials which words they can and cannot use as a crude method of message control. The profound anti-intellectualism that abounds nowadays is alarming, but we ignore the preponderance of scientific data at our own peril. Genesis 126 says that God gave man dominion over all the earth and over every living thing that creepeth upon the earth. By that token, our stewardship over the planet's vast natural bounty is divinely ordained, and yet humanity is destroying the very planet we live on and every living thing in it. Human beings must begin to hold themselves accountable for climate change, deforestation, and the destruction of our oceans through pollution and overfishing. If we fail to do so, and obviously we will, uh, the sixth extinction will likely continue rolling along unabated. And it just might take out the human race that started it as well. No shit, Sherlock. Thank you, uh, Mark Murphy, MD, from Savannah, Georgia, pointing out the obvious. Uh, see if I don't know if Mark is a member of the tribe or not, but uh, nice to hear from you, Mark. And we're gonna go from Mark Murphy to Mark Kelly. Uh, where I'm just going to read his Mark Kelly, a, a space station astronaut's uh, latest rant before I get into my climate change meltdown roundup rant. 
that one coming right up on this nasty day. Bye guys.